There are several new developments involving the coronavirus here in the Houston area and around the nation. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Sion Rhodes. The death toll associated with the virus is now 19. Two people in Florida, one in California, and 16 in Washington state as hundreds of cases of infection have been reported around the country. Vice President Mike Pence today saying testing around the nation will increase in the days and weeks ahead. Now doctors can prescribe tests to any American regardless of their symptoms and um, at the present moment we've distributed more than one million tests and in cooperation with those same commercial labs that I mentioned uh, will be expanding access to tests in the weeks ahead uh, to every American. Now in the Houston area there are eight coronavirus cases, five in Harris County, two of those in the city of Houston, three in Fort Bend County. We learned today 11 healthcare workers at Memorial Hermann Hospital are self-quarantined and being tested after coming in contact with a patient who has the virus. And new tonight, a couple being quarantined at an active retirement community home in Fort Bend County. Channel 2 reporter Hannah McKenzie live with the very latest developments. Hannah? Yeah, well, that active retirement community confirming with us tonight one of their residents claims they've tested positive for COVID-19. And over in Harris County, almost half a dozen Memorial Hermann employees are awaiting their test results after possibly being contaminated with the virus. Del Webb Sweetgrass confirming two of their residents are in self-quarantine after one claims to have tested positive for coronavirus. According to this statement, the active retirement community already alerting other residents, urging them to take appropriate precautions to restrict the spread of the disease. Hoping to do the same, Dr. David Callender at Memorial Hermann. The hospital president and CEO announcing Saturday 11 of his staff came into direct contact with a patient patient later diagnosed with COVID-19. He wouldn't reveal when or at which hospital the potential exposure occurred, but calls it a coronavirus curveball. The patient with the virus presented with atypical symptoms and did not actually have a positive travel history according to the guidelines at the time. Dr. Angela Shippey says three of those employees are now showing symptoms of coronavirus. They've all been tested. Um, their labs are being sent off so that we can find out whether or not they've truly been exposed. The patient they came in contact with, we're told, is linked to the cruise in Egypt. But since it wasn't a hot spot for COVID-19 at the time, Dr. John Butler says they were discharged. It wasn't until three days later, after learning about the other coronavirus cases linked to Egypt, that they brought the patient back in. And how many people did that patient come into contact with? Uh, I, I don't have that information. Are there being, you know, steps being taken to investigate? I mean, that could be dozens yeah, yes. of more people. The, the health department is doing that. We're also told it wasn't until late Friday night that the 11 Memorial Hermann employees were told they may have been exposed. And so far, all positive coronavirus cases can be traced back to international travel. But per the CDC standards, after this possible exposure, that could mean the beginning of community spread here in the greater Houston area. Reporting live in Fort Bend County, Hannah McKenzie, KPRC Channel 2 News.